Okay, so the key thing, this is now called combustion data. So always look at the data you're given. If in the question they give you combustion data, do this route. So, the way our general scheme is if we have reactors going to products, and I want to find this delta HR and I've got combustion products down here. What do all these do? If I've got combustion data, I always call the combustion products down here. So down here you find your combustion products. Usually it's CO2 and H2O. Usually, but it can vary, so be careful. And my arrows now go down. Like so. So it's a slightly different cycle. On this arrow, there's delta H combustion for reactants. And on this arrow, there's delta H combustion data for products. If we do the circle, like so, put our arrows on, this helps us to formulate the equation. Two arrows go the same way. The arrows that go the same way are this one and that one there. So, delta HR, standard, plus delta HC for products is equal to delta HC standard for reactants. Normally you want to find this if you rearrange that. Delta HR is equal to Delta HC for my reactants minus Delta HC for your products. So this is a typical example. They've given you combustion data here. So they've given it for carbon, hydrogen, and methane as here. And using this data, we're going to find that reaction there. So the first thing you look at, what data they give me, they give me combustion data. So down here we're going to be combustion products. What are my combustion products if I want things containing hydrogen and carbon? Gonna be if I combusted carbon, what would I make? Carbon plus oxygen gives me carbon dioxide. What about if I even must? Water. Yeah. Okay. Is that balanced? Don't worry about oxygen, because you always add oxygen in these. So you don't worry about balancing the oxygens, but I do need to make sure I make two waters, don't I? Because I've got. So don't worry about balancing the oxygen. My arrows are now going to go down. Because combustion data is taking these things to make that. Okay. And then you do exactly the same thing you've done before. Let's put my values in. Carbon is minus 394. Hydrogen is minus 286. But I've got two of them. So minus 2 times 286. So let's do that. Minus 394 minus 2 times 286 comes to minus 966. Methane, there's only one methane, so that becomes minus 890. I'm doing a circle. Or you can just remember the equation if you want to. Delta H minus 800. 90 is equal to minus 966. So delta H is equal to minus 966 
plus 890, which equals minus 76 kilojoules. 